Hey everyone and welcome back to Daily Tuition. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about Parcel Bundler, zero configuration build tool for web applications. Parcel bundles up all the JS files into a single bundle. It's lightweight, scalable, zero config, it has a tree shaking, code splitting and more. You can build a small to a large application with Parcel. You can also make libraries for NPM. Let's take a look at how we can create a development server and how we can make bundle using Parcel. Here I'm going to open the VHS Studio code and I'm going to create a new folder inside it. I'm going to name this folder Parcel Tutorial. Now let me just open this folder inside this terminal. So I'm going to say here CD Parcel Tutorial. Now let me initialize this folder as the npm package. So I'm going to say npm init hyphen y. So this will initialize this folder as the npm package. Once we've done that, clear the screen and then I'm going to install Parcel in this project. So I'm going to say npm iPhone install hyphen D to install this package as development dependencies and then I'm going to say here parcel that's it this command is going to install parcel in this project now that parcel is installed let's create some source file for our app so let me close this terminal open this folder you can notice here we have node modules and the package file let's create a new folder here I'm going to name this folder src source folder and inside this Let's create a new file. I'm going to name that file index.html. And inside this file, let me create a simple HTML5 snippet with exclamation mark, something like this. And then I'm going to change this document to parcel butler. You can specify any name to this title, that's up on you. And then I'm going to specify here h1 heading tag with hello world. Now let me save the changes and start the development server. Now because we have parcel in this project, we can use the parcel and run this HTML file in the browser using development server. So I'm going to open the terminal. Here I'm going to execute a command called npx parcel src the folder name and the file name index.html. This command is going to start the development server and execute your index file in the browser. Now because we have parcel installed inside this project, instead of executing this command, I'm just going to execute this command using a script. So I'm going to open the package.json and write down here instead of this test, I'm going to say here start and here I'm going to say parcel src the source folder index.html. Save this file, open the terminal and now I'm going to say npm start. Now this command is going to start the development server. You can notice we have a message here server is running at HTTP localhost 1234. If you click on this link that will open your default browser and on the localhost 1234 you're going to have your index.html file. Now you can also use watch flag with this parcel. Now let's suppose you make changes inside your index file. Let's suppose if I remove this world right from here. Save the changes and now you can see Parcel will automatically update the browser whenever there is a change in the file. Now if you want, you can also add here a watch flag. Something like this. The watch flag automatically rebuilds your app as you make changes. And it also supports hot reloading. So if I add here watch, let me save this. And now let me restart the server using npm start. You can notice I'm going to have an error message. The target main declares an output file of index.html which does not match the compiled bundle type html. So what you have to do is you have to remove this main property right from here. Save these changes and now you can see the build is now successful. If you want you can restart the server using npm start. That's it. Now whenever you make any changes you are going to get your result in the browser. If you want you can use here a build flag as well. The build flag performs the single production build and exit. So if you want to make the production build, you can use build flag here. Parcel allows you to add dependencies in your HTML file, such as JavaScript or CSS. So for example, let me save these changes, close this package file, open the terminal and let me restart the server, something like this. And now if I add JS file inside this index, let me show you what would happen. If you open the explorer tab, then you can notice here you have a bunch of files. Here is the parcel cache file. Then you have the dixt folder. Inside this dixt, we have the index.html, which is the parcel bundle, and then the parcel auto.javascript file and the map file. Now, when you run parcel, parcel is going to execute these files. 
let's suppose you create a new JavaScript file and a CSS file inside this source. So for example, if I create here a file called main.js and a file called style.css and in the style.css, let's suppose if I specify styling to the h1 heading tag, something like this and in the main, if I simply print console.log with parcel connected message. Let me save this. Back to the index.html. Inside the head, if I link style.css and before the closing body, right here, if I say script source main.js, if I save the changes, you can see I'm gonna have here my hello world with styling. And if you open the dix folder, here you have a bunch of other files. Parcel cache everything inside this parcel cache folder. If you restart the development server, parcel will only reveal files that have changed since the last time it ran. By default, cache is stored in the parcel cache folder inside your project. You should add this folder to your .ignore file of your git repo. So you can remove this folder when you push your repository on GitHub. Now let's take a look at how code splitting works. Now let's take a look at how code splitting works. Parcel supports zero configuration code splitting out of the box. This allows you to split your application into separate bundles, which can be loaded on demands, resulting in a small initial bundle size and faster load time. So let's suppose you have a file inside your source folder. If the file name is about.js and inside this file, you have a simple console.log message. And now in the main.js right here, you import this file dynamically parcel is going to import this file inside this main dynamically for example if the parcel want to import this file in the bundle he's going to import that file something like this he's going to call import statement then call here about the file name and then call dot then and then inside this it's going to call a callback function something like this and then say page dot render so this statement is going to check whether the file is available in the project directory or not. If the file is not available, parcel will skip that file and move to the next code. When the parcel can determine which exports of the dynamic imported module you use, it will shake the unused export from that module. So the module size is smaller than initial. Now let's take a look at how we can create a React application using parcel. Let's suppose that you want to create a React application. Let's open a terminal. And then I'm going to create here a folder using mkdir command. And I'm going to name this folder parcel react. So I'm going to have here two directories, parcel tutorial and parcel react. I'm going to enter into the parcel react. So I'm going to say change directory parcel react. And I'm going to initialize this folder first as npm package. So I'm going to say npm init hyphen y. So this will initialize this folder as npm. Then I'm going to say npm i for install and then install react and react dom. The two important packages for react application. I'm going to install both these packages in this project. After a few seconds, you will see I'm going to have your message that the packages is completely installed. And just after that, we need to install parcel as well to execute the code. So I'm going to say npm i for install hyphen d to install this package as development dependencies. And then I'm going to say here parcel. So this will install parcel in the react project now just for that close the terminal open the parcel react and in the package.json you will have your development dependency parcel and react and react dom as the dependencies let me create a new folder inside this parcel react here i'm going to say src source folder and inside this i'm going to create three files first is index.js then i'm going to create here a file called index.html and then at the last, I'm going to create a file called amp.js. Now in the index.html here, I'm going to create a simple HTML5 snippet, something like this, and then get rid of this document. And I'm going to say here, react parcel. And in the body, as you know, react application use a single div to put all the JavaScript inside. So we need to have here a division tag like this with the ID app. And after that, I'm going to say here script with the source and then I'm going to say index.js. This is the entry point of this application. And make sure you specify type to it, which is module. And using this division tag, we are going to put all the nodes inside this div. Let me save this file, close this index.html, then back to the app.js 
and right here let's create a simple component i'm going to say export function app we are going to simply create a functional component so i'm going to just return an h1 heading tag with hello react save this file and just back to the index.js inside this file we need to first import the react dom module so the react is going to create a virtual dom so i'm going to say here import react dom from react dom module and after that we need to import app from the app.js file right from here once we have our app just down here we need to say here react dom dot render what we need to render is we need to render the app component so we are going to wrap the app something like this we need to append this app inside this division tag inside this div this one so at the top here i'm going to say constant app is equal to document dot get element by id and inside this we need to specify the id which is app something like this and after that as a second parameter we need to specify the variable name app this constant variable name right here let me save this file back to the package.json instead of this test command we are going to pass here start command and here i'm going to say parcel src the source folder index.html let me save these changes open the terminal and here i'm going to say npm start you can see after a few seconds i'm going to have here parcel cache folder and a dix folder let me open the local host 1234 you can see we have the react application now you can easily create a react component using parcel parcel support jsx automatically when it detects you are using react parcel has first class support for react fast refresh which gives you a quick feedback when you edit your code without needing to reload your browser so for example if i edit this hello react to parcel react when i back to the browser i'm gonna have that response not only react parcel supports many other popular frameworks like angular view xjs and so on if you want to know more about parcel you can head on to parceljs.org i hope you learn how to use parcel if you find anything useful make sure to press the like button if you have any question don't forget to comment me down subscribe for more latest videos that is all for now i will see you in the next one